friends welcome back to the part 5 uh, of this series where we are trying to solve a housing price prediction problem uh, posted in Kegel in this series today uh, we are trying to do a categorical data analysis we will see uh, how this what these graphs represents and how can we convert the categorical data into numerical features so let's get started all right so uh, you know when we were beginner uh, in into data science we always used to get confused uh, by looking at these graphs and sometimes it becomes very tricky uh, to find out what actually we are trying to see uh, or trying to find in these graphs what information does it tell us right so uh, let me make it very simple for you first of all what we have plot let me explain that so what we have done is in the x axis we have put the values in a particular variable yeah and the, their count uh, in the y axis okay so if i look at the third graph here uh, what we have done is we have in the horizontal axis we have the different values we have for the basement condition yeah and on the y axis we have how many times that uh, you know value has been repeated in our data set yeah very simple okay that is the first thing but here are a couple of challenges uh, that we have to solve one is in categorical data if you see here we have actually text values right uh, we have to convert them into quantitative values or numerical values yeah so basically uh, we will give them some numeric uh, numbers so for example for ta we would give one for the ground we would give for good we will give two i'm sorry uh, for fa we will give three and so on and similarly, we'll go, we are going to repeat this for uh, you know all the categorical columns here. Now that is the first observation. The second observation is if you see in some of the categorical variable, uh, in this case the building type, you can see that one of the value contains the majority of the count, right? And the remainings are very low. Now this is very interesting and it kind of repeats in many other columns as well. Uh, when I say column, it means the variable. So same goes with the basement exposure. You can see uh, the NO actually takes the majority of the count. Similarly, for the basement uh, type two, uh, majority of the goes for unit. Um, again, here in the central air condition uh, related, yes, in majority case, no has a very low count. Um, and and similarly, you can see that uh, several of these columns have this issue. Okay, so now that we know. Uh, what is our next step? Uh, let's go and write uh, some simple Python code. Um, so what we are going to do is um, say so we'll take the example of this LA column here, uh, LA variable, if you may. And for the gravel, uh, we are going to say one, and for pavement, uh, say we are going to assign the number two. And it is very simple. Uh, we can use the, uh, the 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 replace function uh, in order to assign this uh, values there okay so what we are going to do is we are just first going to type our data frame then we are going to type the field name uh, the variable name or the column name whatever you want to call i keep changing these names but they all mean the same thing and then i'm going to say replace and uh, whatever i'm going to replace i want to make sure they are changes are made in the data frame okay and I know the first value is gravel and so I'm going to assign it as one and uh, the second value is pave so I'm going to assign it two okay so if I now run this command and if I check the values of df dot train um, la and if I say head then some yeah because we know that around 90 or 90 plus um, values 90 percent of the values or above that of la is missing so i'm going to just say unique values so that i can see what it does okay great so i have the value one assigned and i have the value two assigned but then majority of the um, uh, records for my la column is blank so I will look into this later and remove these missing values with or replace this missing values with some other value. 
all right so now that uh, you know we have converted one of the categorical uh, column into a numerical one uh, and we have reviewed all these uh, variables here and we found that these are the variables categorical variables I should say uh, which needs to be converted into numerical variables yeah and we have seen that uh, just by the replace function we were able to do so so what we are going to do next is we are going to do the same processing for all the categorical variables and if you see uh, the code is exactly the same what we have done for the la column yeah now you must be wondering uh, why did i manually convert all these uh, you know um, categorical values into numerical values instead we could have used fancy algorithms like uh, label encoder or one hot encoder uh, this is because uh, you know this is a beginner's tutorial and also it's a very simple approach to convert a numerical you know to convert categorical variables into numerical variables so that is why i have used preferred to use um, a direct assignment instead of label encoders uh, we will see later you know how we can use those uh, interesting algorithms but for now this should be good enough okay so next what we are doing here is um, what we did uh, you know simply we just uh, copied this list of um, columns uh, which we have just now converted from categorical to numerical and what we did is uh, we have assigned this a list of all these columns uh, to a variable called uh, category to numerical features and why we are doing this is because uh, remember uh, there are a lot of missing values uh, at this point of time uh, in many of these columns so we are just going to fill them with uh, zero uh, because now that we have already yeah so there are different techniques actually to uh, you know handle those missing values but just for uh, now we are going to assign them the value 0 and what we are going to do is we are just going to you know pass this uh, f uh, the list of columns which you can do it this way right and what we are going to assign is uh, the same column here yeah and the simple trick is to use the fill na with 0 right and let us see what happens okay uh, we got some error hmm so what does the error say uh, it says key error that means uh, whether we have missed single code or something and it says uh, garage quality not in index okay um, but we did change it here okay oh my bad so it's supposed to be garage qual and not the full spelling of garage quality so i'll just replace this with garage qual okay um okay that worked so what we basically did is wherever there was a missing value so we have just uh, replaced those uh, places with zero okay so now that we have uh, you know converted uh, several categorical features into numerical features let's run the same uh, lines of code that we did earlier to see how many uh, categorical columns still we have so okay it shows that we have around now 57 numerical and 24 categorical features okay so now it's squeeze time okay uh, and i have seen that many beginners uh, do have that doubt eventually uh, so if you have been following along uh, you have seen that we have converted a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, columns categorical columns into numerical ones right now on what basis did we select these columns right and why do we still have 24 uh, categorical features still pending why did not we convert these 24 categorical features very similarly what we did for these ones okay so if you notice very minutely you will see that all the columns that we converted with this way we have actually taken all the columns which have rating kind of data okay whether it is quality whether it is condition yeah whether again if you see here what is the uh, you know kind of finish so these are basically all rating related uh, features and those what we have converted so far so that means we have another 24 categorical features which have a different nature of the data that we have to look into and for that 
you know we are going to use the ANOVA method that we have learned in part 3 okay so that we will cover in the next video uh, for the time being keep practicing and have a great day